Hello there, welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. My name is Lynn Allen and thank you so much for joining me today, taking time out of your no doubt very busy schedule. So today I'm going to share with you another command that has to do with layers. Last couple of tips were about layers. Well, the next couple of tips might be about layers. But you're gonna be layer experts. That's okay because so much in AutoCAD revolves around layers. Am I right? All right, so this particular command is called layer previous and it's very valuable and I'm gonna show you why. All right, so I'm going to go into the layer dialog box. I'm gonna come over here to layer dialog box and I'm gonna make a couple of pretty minor changes. I'm gonna come up here to this layer and this layer, 2F and 2FIN, and I'm gonna change, they're white right now, I'm gonna change the color to, oh, let's say magenta a color which I jokingly say most men would not know were it not for AutoCAD. Us women, we know magenta. You men, not so much. <laughs> you might. You can see that that changed, right? You can see a couple of things on the change on the, on the screen are now magenta because we changed the color of that layer. All right, so I'm gonna draw a couple things. I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm gonna dimension that circle. I'm just gonna do some basic work, right, on my drawing. Maybe I'll insert some Thing that completely doesn't belong <laughs> right there like a conduit uh, let's just throw a little conduit in right nice big great bright green gone to it the point is is that i'm editing my drawing i'm adding to my drawing i could be you know deleting things from my drawing maybe i'll erase this but i've made changes to my drawing now i'm like oh i wish i hadn't made those layer changes if I do an undo at this point it's just going to go and it's going to undo the conduit it's going to bring the dimension back it's going to undo my circle until I finally get to undoing the layer dialog box, right? Ugh, that's no good. That's where layer previous comes in. It's gonna let me keep all the edits and changes I've made to my drawing. It's just going to undo the last thing that I did in the layer dialog box. All right, so let's come up here. It looks like an undo, right? It's got a little undo arrow there and a little layer. So I'm gonna hit layer previous. Let's go back into the layer dialog box and you'll see sure enough, it puts those two layers back to white and you should have been, even been able to see that change on my screen, all right? So how else does it work? Well, layer previous will affect what you do to the layer drop-down list. I'll show that to you in a minute. And also, if you happen to be using the command line version of layer, which I, I know some of you still do, uh, it will undo that as well. All right, so let's come in here to the layer drop-down list. Let's say I'm gonna change my current layer to, how about to border, all right? And then I'm gonna make uh, another change. I'm gonna come in and I'm going to, uh, let's change the color of hatch. I just like to do simple things from whatever that color is, <laughs> rose to when we get yellow, all right? Right, you can see that these were changed as a result of that, am I right? Okay, so I made two changes. So if I do layer previous, I come up here, do layer previous, the first time I do it, it's gonna put that layer, that hatch layer, back to that rose color it was before. If I do one more layer previous, it's going to put the current layer back to zero. So it stair steps through whatever you did in the layer drop-down list. Also very helpful, right? Okay, so that is the way layer previous works. Okay, there's a couple things layer previous will not undo. Let me show you. I'm gonna go back into the layer dialog box and I am going to add a couple of layers. We'll add, um, you know, Fred and Ethel. Did you know if you do a comma that you can just keep adding them like crazy? That's just one of many ways of doing it. Lucy and Desi. Okay, probably spelled wrong, but I think that's right. All right. Pretty good. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna leave the layer dialog box, and I'm gonna do a layer previous. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna go back in the layer dialog box. Oh, those guys are still there. That is because layer previous will not undo uh, deleted layers, renamed layers, or added layers. So it's basically taking a look at the layer states. You know, is it on or off? Is it frozen or thawed? Did you change the color? What was the line type? It's not going to actually physically change if you've added, removed, or renamed layers, okay? All right, so that is layer previous in a nutshell. Who knows where that phrase came from in a nutshell? I don't know, I guess a nutshell is something tiny. In a nutshell. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that tip, and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks, all right? All right, have a nice week.